Got a guitar from Glary. I don't know what this company's deal is. I'm curious. I want to try it out. They're crazy cheap. This guitar is 129. And it doesn't look on the website, like it doesn't look like an $89 guitar. So I'm super curious. I think there's a, some exciting potential. Like maybe this could be a good platform, a good neck and a body. Cause you couldn't even buy a neck and a body for that price. More or less with a finish, all those things. And then you could just hot rod it to whatever you want. So let's check it out. There's a strap, a cheap cord, and a guitar pick in there. There's a gig bag over there. That's kind of surprising. Uh, we'll kick that box out of the way. Kind of a creamsicle-y color. All right, I'll put that knife down. There it is. That's a good looking thing. So there's still plastic on the pick guard. There's still plastic on uh, most of the hardware. It has a little bit of overspray inside. The finish is pretty good. Inside the F hole, there's a little bit of buffing compound, but not crazy. Feels okay. The neck looks very cheap. Um, it looks like Squire Affinity. Oh boy. There's a big, there's a big shim in the nut here. The nut is pretty high and the frets are, I mean, yeah, $89. This chunk of it seems to be a lot better quality than the neck. That's probably where they're saving the most of their money. I'm gonna pull the plastic off of the pickup if I can. Oh man, that is obnoxious. So there's plastic on the cover, but it's all the way on the cover through the pick guard. So to get that off, I'm gonna have to like take the pick guard off, take the pickup off the pick guard, take the cover off. Not the end of the world. Um, let's uh, get this thing tuned up and try it out. It's very light. That is exciting and surprising. Um, so, you know, I'm still hopefully optimistic. So I do have a pedal board on the floor, but it's mostly just for a tuner. And then I'll be running into a Tone Master Deluxe recorded through a SM57 into this Zoom H5. Oh, the neck is just like dead flat. This D string buzzes the whole way up. Okay, let me grab an Allen wrench. I have to l take some tension off this truss rod and see if we can save uh, this quick demo. I have a ridiculous skill, and I feel bad talking about it or bragging about it, but what's crazy is I can look in a bag of just random Allen keys, and pretty much 10 out of 10, I'll pick the right size. It's crazy. I mean, since I've been able to do this since I started working at the guitar shop years ago, and um, yeah, I don't know what to accredit it to. We've taken a quick detour to get the tension back off of the neck, because the neck was so flat. All right, let's try this again. Trust rod fixed. It's a, it's still a little buzzy, but I think we should be okay. It just sounds bad. Like it doesn't sound pleasing. It doesn't play well. The action is somehow both simultaneously really high action at the 12th fret, at the nut, and it's still buzzy. Uh, this glary is beautiful and pretty much unusable. Um, there is so much work that needs to be done for this. If you're a beginner, this is not the guitar for you. Um, if you don't know how to fix a guitar, if you don't want to put any money into having a guitar that actually is set up, this feels like it was probably, um, the way this guitar feels is that it was just assembled by people who saw parts and a spec sheet. 
Um, and to get to this price, there are some ethical questions about how do you get a guitar for $89 around the world? I don't know what I expected, but for $89, I would still feel like I paid too much for this guitar. The neck is super cheap. The nut is too high. I don't think this is worth $89. Um, the only part of this that I think is redeeming is if you're looking to build a parts caster, you can get a cool looking body um, with a cool finish. And then you could change out all the hardware, all the electronics, uh, and just keep this, put a different neck on it. Um, but yeah, overall, like I said, it just feels like it was assembled um, and no one that was a guitar player or knew how to get a guitar to play right ever touched this thing. So, um, yeah, I don't know. This video is technically... So it's been about 24 hours and um, this guitar needs a lot of work. That's the thing I hope you hear. There is no secret. There is no like amazing guitar for $89 or even if this guitar was $200, there is no secret. It has to be set up and ready to go and thought of as a guitar rather than just a bunch of parts put together uh, in a factory in Asia. So. I'm gonna take some time and energy and make this guitar as good as I can get it, um, but it's a. This is not for the faint of heart. This should not be your first guitar. So I would, I would say my only advice for this guitar is use a ton of caution before you buy one. Um, know what you're getting into. Like you're getting a guitar that is the cheapest that they can make it. It's still cool. I mean, it looks very cool. So. You know, anyway, I'm going to intonate this. I'm going to swap out the pickups. I'm going to do some other things and make this as cool of a guitar as I can. But anyway, I'm Jeremy. I'm the Guitar Hunter. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you later. If you want to support the channel, if you want help figuring out which guitars you should buy and what the values of those guitars should be, check out my buyer's guide. This is, it's the best resource that I've made so far on how to figure out what guitars are worth, how to negotiate for them, how to buy them. That is the best resource I have. Other cool things, uh, there is always cool merch in the store. So go to jeremythegutarhunter.com. There's coffee, there are guitars for sale, there are t-shirts for sale. There's all kinds of cool stuff over there. Check that out, become a guitar hunter, fill the world with music and friendship. All right, uh, I'm gonna go work on this thing and uh, yeah, get into a better place with it. All right, I'll see you later.